Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to be doing something uh, a little bit different in, as far as the style. I'm just going to be, uh, I guess, recording straight away. Um, but the content of the video is basically going to be talking about scouting, um, finding targets, and I just just generally flying around uh, in zero zero by yourself and how to uh, how to not die, I guess. So uh, I'm going to explain the vigil, um, or I guess just this tech one frigate that I'm in. Um, explain the fit, talk about a little bit about general fittings for um, scouting frigates and especially for fleet tackle and things like that and uh, open up the map and try to find a destination and see if I can find some targets so um, Vigil fit with my core drive uh, a scram for me just because I'm alone if I was tackling for a fleet I'd have a long point has enough CPU for it as well uh, medium shield extender. Now, I, I think this is something that a lot of frigates, pi frigate pilots, don't fit when they're um, sort of in this role as a sort of scout and gang tackle, and, and they really should. It basically means that you're not going to die instantly, as opposed to frigates with no buffer or even just a damage control. Um, it's more forgiving of mistakes, and I think it's much better to have a module like this over things like maybe a, a sensor booster, which I think is generally pretty bad or even uh, having a web or, or a second point. It would be better to have a module like this and it helps keep you alive. Everything else um, is not as important. Um, I guess modules to fit the uh, extender MWD in point. Damage control, always a good module. And then the rest of it, not really important if you're tackling for a fleet. Although since I'm solo, um, I have some um, high tier guns and uh, mag stab. So, um, going to look for a place to find targets, so I guess the best way. Um, there's a lot of resources to do this. Um, you could use uh, out of game things like uh, killboards, .lm, um, but um, I guess I'll talk about the one in-game tool that you could use is the uh, star map. Now the settings I have it on here just show pilots in space and um, if your star map doesn't look like this, this is how you can get it to do it. Um, have the world map control panel open um, select the star map tab, hit star tab, and then statistics. There's a whole bunch of ways that you can order this, the w how the stars are, are appear on the map. Um, now for me, I've done average pilots in space in the last 30 minutes. Basically this shows me um, who's active in the system for the past uh, little while. And generally, um, this is pretty much um, the best one that uh, I've found. There are other ones that show similar types of information. Um, like jumps if you're looking to sort of camp a, um, a pipe, you can see which ones are active. Sometimes this is misleading because it'll just uh, show uh, large fleets moving through, and it's not as good visually right away because you know it, like, it's different colors as opposed to um, different sizes. So this is just easier to pick out. Um, but there are other things like um, pilots docked and active. Uh, this will show you active station system. You see just Jita in NASA dot right there. Um, but this is just generally the one that I use. And So from Austin Gel, this is a low sec uh, system close to the syndicate. So I'll be looking to see if I can find targets in the syndicate region. So uh, I'll zoom in and I can see I'm here. Um, connects to the entry system from here. I'll add MHC as a waypoint and uh, I'll look for where other blobs might be. It looks like the, okay, that's Orville. This is PF. It looks like this pipe is pretty good for for moving through. I'll add waypoint to BMNV. There's a few small, I guess, um, blobs on the map. Um, since I'm by myself, it's probably uh, maybe I'll find some frigates to shoot or something along this way. And I'll pass through into Cloud Ring probably. It looks like if I keep following this route, following where the blobs are. So. I'll add another waypoint here. Uh, there we go. Actually, I want to pass through this system. So, actually, that's fine. Let's leave it. Probably have to clear waypoints. Usually, um, it's good to go through entry systems that are really active and station systems as well. So I know this this one over here is an entry system into Cloud Run from Rosec. So uh, I'll add it to the waypoints and then head over there, and that could be my route. I actually don't like this little bit here, and I want to pass through A-S. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this, and I know I want to get through A-S. 
and it looks like it'll take me to the same root and then I'll just add w and w dash 4 and, and that'll sort of be my root yeah that, that looks okay probably a bit too far for this video so actually probably just better to end it here alright so I'm gonna warp to her rule uh, turn on wd off on more quickly when it's off and I guess I'll basically talk about um, yeah, finding targets now that we've picked the destination it's mostly based on um, active blobs on the map using the pilot and space setting, usually a good indicator of uh, where you might find activity and yeah, also it's good to have the directional scanner open um, at all times when you're when you're looking for things to find uh, rather than just bumping into them See, there's 25 in local here um, scan looks pretty clear for me but you have to remember that most of this stuff is off scan so there might be activity other places in the system but I know it's a station system so that means it's possible that a lot of people are, are actually docked as well so jumping through to Harul before I get to 50 dash only four in the system um, as soon as I jump in I'm just gonna do I just do a 360 scan I have not that much on scan because it's it's a large system. I only have a uh, a couple belts and Planet 10 as well. And most of the systems off scan. You can see the stations off scan. Um, the whole center cluster is off scan. Now, if there are a lot of people and I suspect there was some activity going on, it'd probably be a good idea to walk to one of these celestials and then check out what's going on. But I, from local and seeing that there's a station in the system, it's it's unlikely that there's anything happening except for maybe one or two people, and if I was scouting for a gang, I'd more or less just ignore the system. Um, and I would just let them know, engage clear, scans clear, come in and keep, well, keep moving. Uh, MHC uh, zero, 00 entry. First jump into zero, 00. This is going to be a regional gate. Um, engaging camps um, in entry systems like this is just really much more easy to do um, with regional gates since their introduction to the game because um, it's much harder for a camp to cover the entire gate and it gives you more options in terms of moving around and, and things like that but uh, I should probably have scanned this gate as I was walking to it but I'm fairly familiar with this area and usually there's, there's not much here um, I jump in and let's see how many locals at okay we can see like two locals and there's one of our alts in here so yeah, this is still dangerous because I don't know what these two locals are doing, so it's not really a good idea to work straight to the outgate. What would be better is since I'm moving through, and that would be just to pick a pick a celestial close to the outgate where I can go to and then and then scan from. So I pick the planet. I go to a range just in case there's anything at the planet. You never know. Um, gives you some time to react. I'll go to it at range and uh, then I'll check out the the gate. If you're moving through areas that you go through a lot, it's probably good to have some bookmarks in the system. F76 is a common uh, gate uh, that's traveled through from MHC, so it's, it's possible there, there's some sort of frigate camps or something uh, along the way, but um, just checked it with scan and, and it appears clear. Uh, about the scanner, by the way, this thing is about 14 and a half AU, is how far it scans to. Um, yeah, you can do all whole 360 degrees around your ship. Let me just open up. Oh, we got a new local. If I press F11, you'll see. Uh, I guess you'll see what I can see on the screen uh, represented on the sort of the solar system representation over here. And if I move that, if I move the uh, distances, the angle around, you can see uh, what I'm actually scanning when I hit scan. Um, now this distance is a bit misleading it's probably it's not it's not what you can see here so you don't you might not you might be able to see all the way here but this might not tell it, uh, it might not be represented by this so uh, don't rely on that um, so this is like 180 degrees this is 90 degrees and it, it just goes down to 5 degrees you usually don't really need 5 degree scans usually 15 is good enough and it scans from where your camera is so if you want to center your scan you can press Alt and it brings up this white box and you can align it with uh, 
whatever you're trying to scan to do a, a more precise scan and, and you'll pick up uh, let's do something that's within range so the 11 AU these this cluster planet 8 cluster you can you know very uh, very precise scan towards there um, looks like there's some locals that came in um, sw switch back to 360 and we can see there's a rifter uh, I'll close the uh, the F11 map thingy and uh, see if we can find this rifter Usually, you can save a lot of time by just um, picking obvious things. So here, I can see that the Rifter is on the gate F67. I've just narrowed him down right away because you can generally have a good idea of where things are um, by uh, by picking obvious things um, with it, instead of having to go through the whole process of 180 degree scan and then narrowing it down little bit by little bit. So it looks like he isn't here. It seems like he jumped through and warped off in between me scanning him and um, going to the gate. I checked 360 again. Okay, he's still on scan. So maybe he hasn't completely warped off. Looks like a Loki has jumped in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna burn off the gate a little bit and see if I can find this rifter. It's possible he's gone to one of the belts, but more likely I think is that he has just. Uh, been warping and I'm just catch picking him up and warp until he leaves my scan range. So I've lost him here and yeah now he's off scan so he's just left my scan range. Uh, okay there's this low key on the gate not something I can really do anything about but I'm just going to move over 150 off get to the gate jump through and then keep going and see what else I can find. Looks like he's jumped through as well. I'm suspecting right now that there's a there's a gang on the other side of the gate and it will be a camp I'll have to run. Um, locals increasing as well. It's possible it's all from this gate. I can't really see the gate activations. Yeah, I think uh, I think some of them are holding a cloak and there's there's a few more from this gate. I'm gonna jump through and check the other side. May have not seen the gate at flash animation from as far away as I was. Okay, there's nothing on the other side. There's a purifier. Um, there's a belt on scan, but uh, not likely that a purifier is going to be in the belt. So I could check, but it's probably like he's just in warp and he hasn't uh, he hasn't uh, cloaked. So he'll probably just leave scan shortly. And yeah, there you go. He's off scan now. Now again, I want to just keep going. There's nine in local. There is a station. So I'm. I'm thinking just from experience that there's like might be a couple of guys around um, I could fight, but again I'm thinking most are probably docked. There might be a gate camp, so again I'm, I'm not going directly to the out gate. I'm going to um, a spot off the, off the gate, uh, not not a safe spot or anything, but like uh, a celestial. This is good to do if you don't have safe spots. Generally, as a scout, you don't want to go to gates at zero, especially if they're not in your scan range. If they are, I could have just scanned it and. Um, I would have known. So here, looks like nothing's there, and 360 shows nothing as well. Again, I don't have the station on overview, but I'll just I'll just go to the station for the sake of this. I don't expect that anything to be there though with this view and local. Um, so I'll just pick one of the celestials nearby. And I can I can cover the sun here, so I don't need to go to that. I don't need to go to this cluster because I can cover it in my scan range. It's only 10 AU from me. But the station I, d I don't really know about. It's sort of off scan and by itself. I may have picked it up on the jump, in, but that would, yeah, no, both gates are, are far away from the station. Okay, so here we have some ships. Um, there are some POSs on on the scanner, so it's possible that they're at a POS. And the cluster I've got, the, the celestial I've gone to is about well off most of the others. So I can't really tell. Well, I mean, I can try to narrow it down towards the station. Is generally it's station? Okay, it's not the station. So it's probably one of the moons. And okay, there we go. It looks like moon 21 or 20, maybe, or maybe maybe even 17. So here I'm going to go to 21, and that'll let me, uh, it's okay to go to a moon and a frigate and most things actually, it's fine. I'm going to go to 21 and 20, as long as you don't turn on your MWD, you're fine. I'm going to go to 21 and 20, um, maybe I'll find where these ships are. And not that I'll be able to do anything about it, but just to know. Okay, it doesn't look like they're at, uh, where am I going? 21. 
I'll check I'll check 20 and then if not it's probably 17. 5 degree scan can be bad because you'll, you'll miss things. Okay it looks like it's 20. Like if you're not perfectly lined up with 5 degree scan you, you might miss what it is. So it looks like I still have the choice between 20 and 17 and I'm thinking it's probably 20. I could do 5 degree but I, I don't know if I'm just missing it or if it's not that. Yeah, it looks like I was missing and it is 17. So, yeah, there's a few ships at that, that, uh, 17 pos. Uh, it's not all of them, though. No? Looks like there's a few others, so I could try to find those. Uh, actually, it looks like they've all actually gone to that pos. Naga, Chimera, Vulture, Drake, Hurricane. And the only other thing is a Mammoth, and that's very likely at a POS as well. Um, so I'm not going to go straight to Port Tut again in case something's changed. Local's gone up by a couple since I came in here. Um, always safer to go to a spot close by instead of just the uh, gate straight away. So I'm, I'm going to do that. And... Yeah, oh, also, um, ranges. Uh, maybe I'll get to show this in a system with a close by planet and lots of clusters straight on the lots of celestial straight on the jump in but one good thing to do is if you remove the last digit on your scanner um, you'll do a really close scan it's about a hundred uh, sorry fourteen and a half AU uh, full range and since you just reduce the order of magnitude it just becomes uh, approximately an AU and a half and if everything's within that scan range and you just do that th immediate 360 right away and if the ships that you had before aren't there then you know you don't have to waste your time with that cluster and you can just pick out like the two or three clusters that are in the other areas of the solar system and you can just save yourself a lot of time so I guess that, that's one tip and then I guess I'll talk a little bit later about some other things you can do with the scanner to make yourself more efficient at, uh, at finding targets um, I usually fly with a tactical overlay and always zoomed out just improves your awareness of what's going on um, Poitot We've jumped in, there's four others in local station system. There is a pretty long warp to the outgate, but I can um, warp to these celestials, but I mean, I've just been warping to celestials all the time. Sometimes there aren't celestials that you can warp to, so let's just pretend for the sake of, uh, for the sake of this that there aren't, there aren't any celestials, and I, I have to get to this outgate that's really far away. So I guess I'll show how to do that. Um, for this example, you know, 360 scan, nothing on scan. Um, I could go check the other clusters, but with two stations, I'm, I'm thinking there's not too much happening here with, with this few and local and, and even drop by one. So, my outgate's 40 AU away when I land, and let's pretend there are no celestials, let's pretend there's a lot more in local, and I need to get here. And I can't use these so um, celestial is close to the gate because they, they're just not there, it's just the gate by itself in space. Uh, well, what do I do? If I was cap unstable, um, I would just run my micro warp drive until I was really low in cap and then perform a warp, uh, hoping that I would not warp the whole way and only warp part of the way so that when I finished the warp I'd be within scan range and then I'd know if the gate was safe or not. So basically um, manipulating your cap to control how far you warp and not completing the full warp. Um, unfortunately in, the, in this vigil I, I am cap stable so uh, I can't really do that. I can't just run my micro warp drive and, and nuke my cap. But there are other things I can do though. I could offline a module and then I could put it back on and then when I put it back on I'll below, be below peak recharge and then I can run it and then that'll just nuke my cap and then I'll be able to maybe um, perform par a partial warp. So it's back online, my cap is really low. I've activated my micro warp drive, so it's 30%. Let's see if it drops or if it just keeps going up. Looks like it's just going up and I'm, s I'm still stable. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get low enough to, um, to uh, complete this warp. So uh, you're not out of options. There's always other things you could do, so I could always just go warp somewhere else, cancel the warp, 
and now I have really low cap. And I can keep doing this until I feel comfortable that I have low enough cap that I won't complete the full warp. Now it's much more difficult with frigates because they don't need a lot of cap to warp, so <laughs> I might still mess this up, but if you're in a larger ship trying to scout, you might you might uh You'll you'll be you'll have an easier job of um, uh, making making less than full warps. We'll see how far I go with this warp. Hopefully, I don't go all the way, and I, I can. Oh, 16 AU. Okay, looks like I'm not gonna make it past 16 AU. But um, I can always I can always try it again. You can do it multiple times until you're close enough to scan the outgate. This is a fairly good technique for when you don't have a safe spot. And now you might not be able to get there. Oops, what am I doing? Y you, need, you need to be not aligned to whatever you're trying to warp to, by the way. Because it's, if you're aligned, then you know, you're just going to instantly warp and you, you don't want that. You want to stay in your spot and then, and then um, cancel the warp. So I'm running my MWD while I'm doing these warps. And I'm nuking my cap. Uh, try to pick uh, places that are far away um, to do your warps. And uh, oh, I didn't cancel it in time. Okay, so so now I'm going to a random spot. So I'm I'm totally messing it up, but I think you get the idea. So I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just gonna stop wasting time and <laughs> just go to this gate. Look, was gone up by a couple. Um, Oh, Rifter. Looks like he's in warp to uh, X dash B. Oh, oh, but luckily, because uh, I nuked my cap, I didn't actually go very far. So I'm going to try it actually one more time. Okay, one more time. Hopefully I can do more than 2 AU in this warp. And I'll be able to scan. Okay, that's good. I'm doing a bit more than 2 AU. And I can tell that the gate is clear. And assuming there were no Celestials, I would be able to do this. So I can't warp. if I couldn't warp to anything, I'd be able to uh, get to the gate. If and you know check it and just sort of be safe instead of blindly warping and hoping or if you know the ship was valuable enough I could just hang around and insist until you know the locals left or something so I can I, I was I'm able to tell that the gates clear so I, I just keep going oh the uh, the other trick in um, so say you have a target on scan and you want to know how far it is usually it's just the one celestial straight ahead of you so you don't really care but if you're trying to help out maybe a prober or something and you want he wants to know you know what's the distance you know that 21 um, is the first part and, and um, this sort of order of magnitude translates into 14 and a half AU now you know a quick way say let's say 14 and a half equals 15 AU more or less let's round it off if we could just highlight this 21 and change it to 14 this is approximately 10 AU and if we just highlight the 14 and change it to a 7 now it's an approximately a 5 AU scan that I'm doing and if you just go back to max scan range and then just take off the digit at the end and you change the order of magnitude then you're doing an AU and a half that's more or less as much accuracy as you'll need so um, I guess there's a, another little tip you can of course be much more um, accurate and stuff but this, you probably don't need to be much more accurate than that in general okay this system has no one in local but there's a drag. I think it's yeah. This looks like it. Someone was camping here um, from the bubble. It looks like someone from Ticker Zero Alliance put it up, and someone from Agony used the bubble to camp from that can. That's I guess they're meant for decloaking. Since there's no one in local, um, I can just go straight to the outgate, okay. and I don't need to check for anything. Yeah, except I, I, I there you go. I mean, 
pr pretty bad mistake. I I didn't uh, I didn't scan for this bubble, but since there was no one in local, it's fine. Um, you see, I I picked up two mobile bubbles on scan. One was on my grid, one wasn't, and I I didn't even bother checking for this one. So uh, perhaps I could have done that and then bounced off one of these asteroid belts if I was in a big heavy ship. But since there was no one in local, it it was you know it's not a big deal, not a huge mistake. But um, yeah, pay attention to what your scanner shows. Oh, and um, your scanner actually uses the overview settings of your overview if you click this box. And if you don't, it'll just pick up everything. So if you have stuff on your overview, like you don't have bubbles or things like that, it might be good to either add them or have a scanning overview or something. Or um, uh, start, start having a habit of checking with this button unclicked as well at the same time. Okay, here, um, I guess this is a good way to, good opportunity to do it this way. Not much in scan range because this is two AU away. Um, it's not really a good uh, time to, it's not a really good situation to do the, the, that type of strategy where you check really close clusters, but sometimes, sometimes uh, a lot of the clusters are just really close to where you, uh, where you jump in from. It's strange for some reason this area is really dead right now. It's just like a two or three on the map. I thought it'd be okay-ish, but I guess you guys have a, an idea of what two or three on the map means and um, what you can expect in terms of targets. I'm kind of scared that there's going to be cloaking sabers on, on some of these gates. Um, in which case, it might be better to if you're worried about a cloaking saber on a gate and you jumped in and it's just local sort of like this. Once you decloak, just reapproach the gate, even if there's nothing there and you just suspect. And then that way you're not, your warp isn't cancelled and you aren't stuck in a bubble and with like zero speed you're already moving and even if the saber decloaks he's gonna not scram you by the time you get back to the gate. So you can do that. So checking the out gate, uh, PF, entry system to syndicate from Orville, high sex system looks clear. Maybe there's something here, we'll, we'll find out. Looks like my client's liking a little bit. Maybe there's a frigate I can fight in PF, like a rifter or something. There were no bubbles, so it's fine to go here. Alright, I'm gonna jump in. Oh yeah, four others in local. Um, scan's clear, unfortunately. Oh, no it's not clear, I didn't actually even scan. Okay, there's a thorax on scan. Um, it's either, like, probably going to be... Okay, it looks like it's gone to a bounce. I was going to say, if it's not at one of the belts, then it's either in warp or in a safe spot. So here is the thorax at a bounce. I don't know. I guess I'll run for it and see what happens. I don't really want to fight it, though. But maybe he has a frigate friend that, uh, that comes and I can fight his frigate friend. So if once you're engaging or, or wanting to try to engage, always, uh... Keep an eye on scan. Don't really want to fight with when I'm. Uh, lagging so much. My FPS is like below 10. Good to take a look. Okay, this guy has rail guns, it looks like. I think these are rail guns, but they might be blasters. Anyway, I need to relearn what the weapons look like since the changes, I guess. But anyway, he's burning for me, he wants to fight me. I, I really don't think I can do anything against him. So uh, I'm just gonna sort of let him be. And it doesn't look like any he has any friends that showed up. Um, again, this gate with Orville. Again, no Celestials around this gate. So what I showed you earlier with um, depleting your cap to get a scan spot is a really good idea if you don't have, uh, if you don't have bookmarks. But... Uh, I have one. Ooh, a rifter. Okay. I'm going to fight this rifter. And if I die, it's okay because I don't plan on going through any more systems. Oh, he, he's jumped out. It'd be faster for me to burn away and then walk back out. Okay, I'm like like less than 10 FPS, so, so maybe I should just like stop the props in the video and then try to fight the Richter. But anyway, I'm gonna go to Orville uh, Bounce. 
you should uh, be careful with these bounces if you, there's a camp on the gate and uh, you should check for probes because you just because you're well away from them doesn't mean you're safe. Um, the really really good people with probes can basically have a result as you come out of warp and warp you instantly. So uh, always be careful and if you're on grid with a bunch of people um, and you're not intending to fight at that moment, then, you know, be aligned and ready to warp out. So I'm warping to Orville as my Eve is going to 1 FPS. Hitting scan, nothing on scan. Uh, Syndicate's really quiet right now. I guess not too much going on. I was hoping to jump into a camp and try to try to escape and, and show you some of that as well. But uh, perhaps for later. And I think this has gone on for fairly long as it is. So if I can if I can select the gate here, I'm gonna <laughs> gonna warp to it and uh, jump out, and that that'll, that'll conclude I guess this uh, experimental style that. I'm trying where I just uh, sort of do it live. Do a rupture. Cannot fit this. And he's, he's warped off anyway. Okay. I guess this concludes the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave feedback, and if the audio was bad at some points, uh, I apologize for that.